Greetings, everyone. This is Live Life Well TV host Robert Landau with another episode of How to Be Okay When Things Aren't. Oh, title of this episode? To Sigh or Not to Sigh. Stay tuned. So you're probably wondering why I decided to call this episode to sigh or not to sigh. I'll tell you why. Have you ever noticed how many people sigh? I do. And I'll tell you why I pay particular attention to whenever that happens when anyone's around me or I watch TV and see people do that on talk shows or the news even. Um, my dad used to be a big sire, <laughs> and particularly uh, when he would sit down to watch the nightly news. And in those days, you might remember that the news, the national news was 30 minutes long, or world news, I guess is what it was called. And uh, on the East Coast, it always came on uh, at 7 p.m. and would conclude at 7.30. So my father always wanted to make sure that dinner was done by five of seven so he could go into the living room, sit in his chair with the clicker and watch, I don't know if it was NBC, ABC or CBS. And he would start watching the news being his normal vibrant energetic self. But by the time the first story was done, which usually was the most dastardly negative and treacherous, right? <laughs> he, his whole energy, his whole countenance would start to change and he would began, begin to slump in his chair. And by the end of that 30 minutes, it's like he was a mess. You had to help him out of the chair, you felt like, because he was carrying all of the stress and problems of the world on his shoulders. And he would spend the rest of the night and the next morning doing this. because he just was so upset with all of the problems in the world. So, are you a sire? <laughs> Do you sigh? And if you don't happen to sigh outwardly like my dad used to, are you an inner sire? Which means that you too, like my dad, tend to take on the bad news all around you and become that news. Well, here's a helpful hint. Don't. <laughs> you can't help what goes on all around you. All you can do is manage what that stuff is and how you feel about it within you. But make sure that you don't end up carrying the weight of the world, the weight of the issues that you're exposed to, on your shoulders, because if they don't deal with you directly, just be aware of them, acknowledge that they exist, but then move on, keep moving forward. Don't stay in the pit of that stuff that might cause you to inner or outer sigh. Because if you do, and you keep that negativity about you within you, you will start to feel stress, you won't feel well, you might not be able to sleep. It triggers a whole bunch of negative reactions that really will not end up serving you. So, the next time you feel like you want to sigh in reaction to something you've exposed yourself to, do it, but the key is don't stay with that energy for too long. You are not the news of the day. You can react to it, but then move on because there's not much that you can do to change it. This has been Robert Landau, Live Life Well TV host. Thank you for tuning in.